Hey everyone, welcome back to World of Final Fantasy. I decided to name my werebat Owlflame after my buddy. Uh, hopefully there's a card. If I forgot, I'm sorry man, but at the same time, yeah, I wanted to get Owlflame up in here and I was thinking, what would I name him after? Granted, there's the Cockatrice and the Cockadrill, and I mean, I guess that's kind of owl-like, but uh, I don't really like that Mirage. And I don't really want to name Owlflame something I wasn't really going to use, but werebat, I could totally use this in my lineup and so uh yeah i get it it's not it's not an owl it's a bat but at the same time uh i think i think it's fine to shelf billy zane i'm sorry billy zane but owl flame has kind of overtaken your spot he needs to get that experience anyways your keepers right the giants from the hills Ta-da! That's us. Point us at mirages and watch the magic. <laughs> if that's the case, then come with me. So, who are they? Celeste, these kids are the giants from the hills. You don't mean from the prophecy. Um, you think you could fill us in on what's been going on here? Sure. Where to begin? So that anchor appeared out of nowhere, then the mirages? Yeah. The League of S sent me here. I was supposed to just be investigating the anchor. But by the time he arrived, the vampires were already running amok. I'm told that it was utter chaos. Um, you didn't see it? I'm a hired sword, and my job in Tometown is to guard this place, the Library of the Ancients. So rarely do I find myself stepping outside, and... It's always quiet here. Nothing seemed to miss, at least not until the town had already been overtaken. Hey, Celeste, where's... Oh, he was over there re... Hmm. How strange. Sid? Are you here? Sid? If you don't answer me, I am going to burn all of these books. Wait, wait! Those ghastly threats are so unbecoming. Huh? Ah, the talking weird thing! Now what if it's a mirage? I often wonder the same thing. How incredibly rude. I am just as human as you. Just because I sometimes have a habit of- Bussy! 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 Yes, he does have a habit of going haywire. And it's my job to calm him down. What? Calm him down? If anything, he looks more broken down than- I'm back! <laughs> yes, well, it's far harder to break than you'd think. Trust me. I'll thank you not to refer to yes, me as Lord. an- Yes, May we continue with our conversation now? Hmm? Oh, yes. Where were we? Oh, you're like a book freak. What did you do? Make a body that doesn't sleep just so you could keep reading forever? Oh, no, no, please, you have it very wrong. I prefer the term bibliophile, thank you very much. That's the part that's wrong? As I understand it, someone just happened to leave that body he's in lying around, and somehow his soul got embedded in it. His soul's in bed? Wow. <laughs> I guess in a way, you are human deep the down. Maybe his soul needs to I get told you I'm human in every conceivable way. <laughs> no, you really, really aren't. <laughs> and what about you then? You say you're the giants from the hills? Now that right there is the real stretch. I mean, what a hoot! Uh, what a what? Oh, <laughs> Tom is not an owl. I mean, it is an easy mistake, but wouldn't you assume she's a skunk or something first? You, you, you! How dare you call me the stinky again? That is the last the straw! I am the fragrant! Roses line up just to get the one whiff of me! What really the stinks is your whole stupid existence! 
You don't have to be ashamed of people thinking you're skunky. Skunks are cool, okay? Time out. Wildlife coolness aside, could you not derail every conversation just because you don't know how to vocabulary? But rain? Vocabulary's not a verb. It is if I say so. I'll vocab any way I want to. So can I before I vocab you in the Larry? Uh, uh, I see now you're comedians. Bravo. Enough. We have more important things to discuss. Okay, let's get right down to it. Those people back there with the fangs? What is the deal with them? Wow, right down to business. Huh. Vampires. They used to be people like us. Until a vampire bite turned them. Huh? Now wait. Don't tell me that people can turn into mirages. And, and they can't go back to the way they were? Oh, well, while we're going back, when I was younger and even handsomer, I... I mean, uh, oh yes, I remember clearly now. According to several books I have read, those who have become vampires can be cured provided the vampire that sucked their blood is vanquished before it's too late. So then, all we have to do is move fast and take out the vampires that did the biting? That's the basic idea. But of course, those vampires used to be just as human as their victims. So if we're not careful about it, wouldn't we end up sacrificing as many lives as we managed to save in the end? Although, we could always pick off the illiterate vampires first. You're not really living anyway if you've never known the comfort of a good book. Uh, no, I don't think that makes you eligible for slaying. But, point taken, we can't save everyone. Then, dude, what are we supposed to do? What if we defeated the first vampire, the one who started the whole thing? The first? That's it. If you trace the epidemic back, there has to be a first. Yes. Let's call that one the Prime. If we defeat the Prime, then the rest... Hey, yeah! It should cause a ripple effect and fix everyone. We would be vanquishing the Bitey's Biter's Biter. What do you think? Will it work, Sid? Well, it hasn't been particularly long since the commotion started, so... Yes, I believe that it could. Excellent. What a plan. Did you follow that, Tama? Uh, yeah, me too. Uh, I was just checking. All right. So where can we find the Prime? Let's see. Cloud, when you fight the vampires off, have you noticed any patterns to where they seem to go? Hmm. I never gave it much thought, but now that you mention it, they always seem to retreat to the north. Ah, well, that points to one place. That's right. The graveyard with all the abandoned Mirage trains. That's their lair. Then let's not waste any more time. We should go. Wait, Cloud. Who's going to help the townspeople? I have to stay here. You wouldn't want me to go bzeek and make a big old mess. Which is exactly the reason why I have to stay here. So, he's a big pain in the world of butt and certifiably useless! Okay, putting aside how completely not funny that is, we can go to the graveyard for you, right? Huh? Uh, yeah. Vampire schmampire, you just go ahead and point us at any old mirage. And we have to do the rest. Hmm. All right then. I guess. Let's see what the Fable Giants can do. I'll take you to the graveyard. Just say the word. I'll be around. Well, okay, I guess, I guess I finally have control. I'm just gonna talk to everyone. If a mirage isn't shaped like a human, then it probably never was one. Attack away, guilt-free. Hmm? Oh, stop staring. You can very clearly see that I'm human. Oh, Sid. What kind of Sid are you? Are you the one from... Two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 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 blah, blah, blah. Uh, Celeste. Keepers, I wish you luck. You know, I'm down with Celeste. She was pretty cool. One of the best characters from Six, if you ask me. Uh, and Cloud, my homeboy. In case it wasn't obvious, the town is still a big mess. I wish I could help you guys fight, but they need my help. Are you sure you'll be able to face the Prime on your own? I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I think you've seen by now we can handle ourselves. We got it covered. Yep. You just worry about the town. 
Will do. If things settle down, I'll come find you later. So, next stop, the train graveyard. You ready? Mm, yeah. I'm ready for the train graveyard. I was just talking to you because you had an exclamation. Here we are. Welcome to Vampire Land. Also, they don't live here alone. There are other things, too. Be careful. Wow! Just the look at all these choo-choos! I'm definitely getting that graveyard vibe. It's like a ghost could pop out at any second. <laughs> oh my gosh, Lon! That is not funny at all! I'm definitely getting a Final Fantasy 7 vibe. Cause there was train grave oh I need a zap ability. Uh do I do I have anything? Yeah, yeah I do. I have someone who can use it. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to figure out who I'm gonna sacrifice and what I'm gonna do. So uh Uh you know, I'm gonna end the part here. Yeah, next time we're gonna traverse the train graveyard and I'll be fully set up and prepared for it and it's gonna be crazy and oh man, I'm not ready for it. <laughs>